Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel and today I just want to give you guys just a little insight on the usage for a month that I've had my machine, my LG uh, wash and dryer set 4500. What you're looking at right now is the dispensary, the Easy Dispense Reservoir. My husband just recently took that out of the machine to clean it. It's important to at least clean your, um, your detergent dispenser slot at least once a month because there's buildup that gets inside and you don't want it to ruin your machine by no no fault of just not cleaning it or not knowing what to do. There are videos to show you how to disassemble this uh, reservoir, but as you can see, my husband is just snapping it in and it's so easy. If you just take the time to do these things, you will get um, longevity with your machine. So right now you can see that he's just putting, you know, just snapping the pieces, it's almost like a Lego set. He's just snapping the pieces back together. So I wanted to talk to you guys about how important it is to at least clean the Easy Dispense uh, Reservoir at least once a month. My detergents are out. I am right now currently um, using my machine, the dryer. I have nine minutes to go. I've also been infatuated with the Steam Fresh. It makes the clothes smell so freaking good, guys. I mean, the laundry smells exceptionally good when you use Steam Fresh. I actually have to try to do like every other load with it because um, I don't know if it's running up my bill or not because of it. I'll know by the ending of the month if so. This is, uh, yeah, because it does use water, you know, to feed the steam to the machine. But again, I am using my machine on regular now and it has eight minutes left. And this video was just to really inform you about cleaning your reservoir. Um, at least once a month. You do not want to mix your detergents. That's important also. Like if you change, keeping the same brand is fine, but I think like if you go from like Gain to Tide or something like that, you want to be mindful of that. Um, you definitely want to clean it before, you know, putting different brand detergents on top of it because it gets gooky. And then it'll, you know, it'll just start causing a really bad mess on the inside. Um, once my husband step aside, I'm going to show this little piece down at the bottom. Actually, I want to just double check to make sure. And that's another thing you want to make sure these are, when you take them out, these are definitely snapped in properly mm -hmm. because you don't want any spill in the drawer because it can cause a leakage, jam up. Leakage, yeah. A leakage and a jam up into the dispensary. So you just want to just make sure everything's snap properly snap in properly make sure everything's in very easy if you just take your time to do it it's not time consuming it's something we you can overlook but um you definitely want to monitor it and an, and an awesome way to monitor that is to your machine because everything is like wi-fi it'll let you know when your your detergent or your softeners are running low or whether if it's empty or not and then you know like you haven't did it you haven't refilled it within three weeks so it's important just to make sure that those pieces are um, cleaned out properly at least once a month and as i move on over here i'm going to show you down here is what you also want to drain. You want to get like the excess water and you want to keep that clean as well. And it also makes a big, you want to pull it up. Look at that. Yeah. You want to keep that clean. You want to have that drained properly. And it also ensures the freshness of your machine. So again, guys, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what other videos you guys would like for me to make. Um, and then I will make them for you. Thanks for watching.